but uh, when it popped up on the list, I have to put that at number one. If you guys don't want to give me credit for that one. No, 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 no. If I'll you say he was, one. if he's credited with uh, with uh, writing it, then well, what the fuck can I say? I can't, you know. I think Adam Sandler might have something to say about that. Well, right. they were really you might want to talk to him right. about it then. Yeah, they were. Right. Adam, feel free to call in or tweet us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Adam great. Sandler, please stop uh, banging whoever it is you're banging. Your wife. Yeah, please don't remake Sandy Wexler or the fucking Cobbler again. Oh God, Sandy Wexler was the Cobbler wasn't <laughs> meant to be Cob- funny. Cobbler, okay, but it seemed yeah. like it was just another take on Click. You know? Yeah, uh, so. it, was, it was. I like Click. I did like Click, but that's yeah, why the, I didn't, didn't like the, the remake. Cobbler. I haven't seen the cobbler. Yeah. All right, Seth. What you got? The The cobbler. He's sitting right in front of you. (laughs) I did uh, super bad. Super bad. Because of Jonah Hill's character's name. Seth. Affirmative, sir. (laughs) Nice. Wow. So I just saw this uh, picture of Rocha, (laughs) Rochelle. Yeah, you like that, do you? She, she wants the P in the VG. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? The best circus the Afro, best. Circus Afro, the Polka dot, Polka dot, Polka dot, Afro. The best part, the best part of that movie is when he kicks the soccer ball, and they're like, and they're like, you're gonna get that, no, no not. not. Yeah. Quit Seth get off the field. Yes. Yeah. He wants Seth's own dressing. Yeah. She's DTF, man. A, She's down uh, the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Seth, I'm making a pube salad. Yeah, I, can use some of <laughs> I don't want chicks to think I suck dick at fucking pussy. Yeah. You know what? That is probably the greatest line ever. Yeah. I don't know. The whole taking a dick. She looks like she could take a dick. What? I'm complimenting her dick taking skills. <laughs> God, that movie's great. I would want somebody to compliment my dick giving skills. Yeah. Uh, Very quotable movie. I, oh, yeah. You, what, did you already, that was yours? No. No, it's mine now. Because I think me and yours are the same. Yeah, yeah. Forty old virgin. virgin. Yeah, yeah. I'm Hands sorry. Down. That that is that put Apatow. Hands down. That really like drew the spotlight onto him when he made that film. Uh, that you want to talk about quotability? When we're talking Judd Apatow. When your son's born, is he already on parole? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, every that that movie is. The opinion and we're talking about the quote. unrated version. Yeah, right. Not the rated R version. The rated R version was okay, but all the quotability came from the unrated version. Yeah. yeah. The, the whole because his Adam's apple was, or his hands were as big as Andre the Giants, and his Adam's apple was as big as his balls. I mean. What's that? <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know you're gay. <laughs> yeah. That, that yeah, scene that right there, scene. too, yeah. How do you know Why? Because you macromade yourself in your own jean shorts. Because <laughs> your dick tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah that's people the, bumper stickers says I like it when the balls are in my mouth. <laughs> that's gay. That's so, gay. You did have a great one. Of the, the thing I think I, it's pure debauchery, and it's totally the worst movie ever. Period. And, but it's great. And that sausage party. That sausage shit party. Oh is God. is legit I fire. Wasn't, I, was, I was not expecting much from that. No, but uh, it just. I'm glad I watched it. Dude, the climax. Yes, the oh my! <laughs> There's like fucking everybody. Man. Have you seen it? Yes, Dude, I own it, man. Uh, it's fucking great. It it's on. It? I haven't seen it yet. It's on Netflix. I keep meaning to watch you it, but er, watch every it. chance. Sure look, man, I have four fucking kids, yeah. so this it's is difficult. Kid you can watch it with that's, your that's wife. That's my point. Yeah, yeah right. watch it with your wife. This well, is not an adult show. <laughs> this, is, this is a person with no morale. No, no. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's a morale it's a, or moral. Well, you should watch it while you're completely alone so you don't feel strange about laughing at the shit you're going to laugh at, okay? <laughs> yeah, I, no, I never feel strange about laughing at what I laugh at. And then at. when you get done watching you just tell everybody what a shitty, horrible movie it was. <laughs> and what you about, just keep watching it every night. And what about, what, what about the interview? Did you like that? Uh, okay. Yeah. The interview, I did like. Okay. I liked because, like, as always, you got Franco, right? And he's just... He is always this simple character yep. that is like, he's like everybody, you know, you just, all of his awe and wonder that, and he, all, of course, he's the one that gets like, hey, we gotta do this, like, we're gonna go in, we're just gonna kill this motherfucker. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. wait, what? No. The thing no. that did it for me was the opening scene when, uh, when Eminem, with Eminem, he's like, with Eminem. did he just say he was gay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. The fact, here's the thing, I've never been a huge Eminem fan. Ever. Yeah. I've never, it's, it, when he fucking first came out on that uh, Dr. Dre album, and, you know, the Forgot About Dre, mm-hmm. when that shit, I was like, oh, cool, fucking Dr. Dre, he's got a new album out, you know, I was always a Dr. Dre fan growing up, and that fucking shit, and then all of a sudden, that, I was like, oh, fucking hell, what the fuck is this shit? 
It was an Eminem fucker. Like, God Eminem, damn, dude. feel free to tweet us as well. Yeah, you're free you free to tweet us. I don't like you, Marshall Mathers. You suck ass. Call me Marshall Mathers. Mm-hmm. He looks, he looks like, I can't one. draw, but that looks like an Eminem. Marshall Mathers. <laughs> Super bad. Get it, M and M. But there are two things that he's done that made that uh, has uh, made me get some, you know, gain some respect for him. Oh, yeah, he let me, won one, let me guess. Battle, right? One, one was the uh, one was the the interview where he made fun of himself about being gay. I, I just loved the whole basketball court scene, you know, while they're out there and they're just shooting hoops, and you know, there's there's Kim Jong and he's just like chilling, like I'm cool, <laughs> like laying it out there for him. The baby, and you're just a like, firework. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yep. I'll, 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 I will I'll always that. see yep. an image of King Kim Jong Un <laughs> <laughs> dying <laughs> to Katy Perry. Yeah, that's so great. Yeah, and the second thing that Eminem did. Uh-huh. That, yeah, go uh, ahead, go yeah. ahead, get yep. smart ass. Yep. Uh-huh. yep. Uh, I don't know how uh, Joe Rogan. I'm stealing jokes again. I don't know how rap battles go, but I'm pretty sure that makes Eminem the president. I think so, so. Here's the thing. Here's the thing I don't like. Here's, so does that mean he could be thing. assassinated now? <laughs> you can be assassinated. Ca- careful, you careful, have to do it. careful what you say, Johnny oh, Depp. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no, the o- the only thing I have to say about that is uh, what I don't like. I mean, you, like I said, we're in America. You can say what you want. I don't really care. You, uh-huh. you have your opinions. Yeah. What I don't like is the fact that people like Ellen DeGeneres and uh, uh, what's his name, Billy Eichner and LeBron James have come out and said, oh, thank God for Eminem for saying all this stuff and blah, 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 which are the, these are the same people uh-huh. that hated him before because of how he talked about homosexuals. I and do. All yeah, stuff. I, I do. It's hypocrites uh, and I, I don't like it. I do. Just because yeah, he said hip- something you like now. Right. Come I, on. I do find the hypocritical nature of what's going on. I, I mean, oh, one of, I've, I've, I've never really appreciated Eminem for. I a lot of different reasons. I think the people that are co-signing on this, the he, the, the, they don't even feel that way, but they want other people to feel that they feel that way, so that they can jump on that cloud with him. Oh no, these people that these people that are backing what Eminem has to say uh, to Donald Trump in that whole. Well, they all said they were going to leave if he was, you know, president, but they're still here. Yeah, you know, and he had a lot of fucking Republicans say that, like, uh, mm-hmm. fucking douchebag up uh, up north, uh, Teddy Nugent, said he was going to leave if they didn't repeal. Obamacare back in the Supreme Court days. That fucking idiot is still here, so I don't want to hear that bullshit. A lot of people say some stupid fucking shit. You know what? You want to get rid of Rosie O'Donnell? Cool. Fucking Ted Nugent has to go, too. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of Are anybody. you trying to say that both sides I, have their crazies? Yes. <laughs> there, okay. there is no both sides. There's only there's creation of those sides, and that's the whole game. That's why we're the way we are. You know, Without that, then they don't have any power. Well, if we're all the same, it'd be separated. Better. Oh, stop it. keep her separated, then there you go. You're saying. Look, uh... Yeah, you know. Look right. What we were talking about earlier. I have a song. Just I have a song for that. Go ahead. Are you gonna play us out?
Tell